and welcome to Comics with Jose. My name is Jose. I love comics and I want to share them with you. Follow me on Twitter at Art of J. Velez, on Instagram at jvelez622. We're going to review some comics that I like, that I love, and some that I don't like or love. I own all the comic books that I am showing. Even though we're going to be looking at them digitally, I actually have copies of every single comic book that we are going to review. Like and subscribe, and thanks for listening. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jose. I love comic books and manga. I love talking about them. Today, we're going to be looking at Volume 5 of The One Punch Man, my current favorite manga. Um, I'm not big on manga. My channel is about comic books, but I do like manga. I love Akira. That is my most favorite one. The art is fantastic. The story is fantastic. It's an epic. I have, um, depending on when you listen to this, I may have all the volumes available or a few, but I'm going to have all six volumes done. One Punch Man is my current favorite one, and my second favorite one is My Hero Academia. But I love One Punch Man. I just can't help it. I don't know. It just speaks to me and a lot of in this issue. Uh, it's written by one, uh, drawn by Yusuke Murata. And oh, I love this. Love that they put this in there, just in case. Um, love the cartoony. It's both serious and cartoony. Um, here's our cast of characters. Tells you kind of what's been going on. Here are our um, table of contents. So we're starting off where we left off. As the Deep Sea King is about to take Piri Piri. Remember, manga is read from here to here, from here to here. Okay, so um, the reason he's going to fight is because he had a fancy for both Stinger and Lightning Max. Piri Piri is gay. And he is super strong. So, um, he says he's going to start at half. And he rips off his um, sweater. And then he stops and goes, oh no. And then he ripped his boyfriend had woven sweater, making him angry. Love this drawing. Um, this, uh, this series is just so fun and I think it's the reason it's so popular um Sonic is um looking I forgot his his actual uh his actual name oh my goodness uh Speed of Sound Sonic um is his name so um but I call him Sonic because it just sounds good so here we go and we're gonna start a fight so Great double page here with another here. Just amazing. American comics, um, they'll do two panels of nothing. Like, they'll do, sorry, two pages, a splash page, and doesn't have nearly the effect that the, this has. So, he hit him hard. So, again, read from here to here. So, you read this, then he punches him. Okay, so here, here, here. Here, here. So just just remember, it's this way to this way. So, um, this is just <laughs> this is hands down a very very cool one. So Peer Peer is gonna use his power, which is called Angel Style, um, and. He gets muscles on top of muscles, and so, and he's naked. So, um, it, it's it's hilarious. So here we go to here to here to here. So and then here. Oh, so. Just so much action. I mean, oh, it's just so much action. And 
just the right amount of words. Um, goodness gracious. I strongly recommend you go out and buy them. I have just got some more this weekend. Um, love this um, series so much. Um, I suggest just going into Amazon. Um, by the way, he defeated Piri Piri, so now Sonic is gonna fight him. And, um, I just recommend you go and, uh, try to, um, see if you can get them in a collection of, like, ten volumes or so. Um, something like that. Um, Individually, they're hit and miss. So if you go to like Barnes and Noble or anything, they're just hit and miss. So you may find volumes one, but then the next one is like four. So so the Deep Sea King, of course, is super powerful. He's just beating up on everybody. So they're establishing just how powerful he is. So. And even though um, he wasn't able, because of his speed, he wasn't able to get uh, a hand on Sonic. Sonic really didn't do any damage. So. And so um, people are on... Um, They've been sent to for protection. And this here is... I believe this is Sweet Mass. And he's telling the people about how, what he believes a hero is and should be. So you can see he's in it about himself, you know. He's only a hero when facing evil. Other times actor, model, and singer. And he's here to promote his new single. So, um... <laughs> that is, uh today's in a nutshell so um go back to the fight and boom but he actually was not able because he's so fast he got away And it's kind of funny, because here you look at this, and you can tell he's right there, but, you know. Um, so, love it how they cover up. And so, uh, the people are hiding, and he's going to go look for them. Uh, nope, not yet. Genos is going to fight. So, everybody is sort of getting his turn, hitting him. So here's where the people have been evacuated. And uh, all these people are putting their their uh, hope that the heroes will fight, but he comes in here. And uh, this guy's like, surrender. We surrender. Please don't, uh, don't attack. So, these are some of the weaker heroes are in here. So, he retreated because he knows that he's just not that powerful. So, um, that is why. And uh, he surrenders and the demon and the Deep Sea King is like, oh, I'm going to kill you anyway. Um, he says that my demand is that he screams and he's going to rip him limb from limb. So... And these other people are watching, and they're like, man, we should all do something, so they should fight. You see here, he's sort of uh, peed himself, so. And there comes another hero, and another hero, and another hero, and they're going to work together. And he's like, all right, let's let's uh, let's all go. And I look at him, heroes. Um, so... They're going to form their own mini Justice League. And so. I <laughs> uh, love Saitama. So, 
we go to the next chapter here. So here comes the um, mon mon monim. <laughs> I really forgot his uh, name. Mun Mun. Oh my goodness, Moomin, Moomin Rider, who is um, just a human being who he thinks he's Batman, but he doesn't have the gizmos. He rides a rides a bike, and uh, he's going to go. Um, try to help. Um, so to uh, where the people are in J City. So and uh, so he uh, um, Saitama is uh, or Saitama finds that phone, and uh, they're talking um, to him about the crisis. You know, everybody's just um, so concerned with Saitama's rank, but nobody really um, is looking. So he looks through the records and, and goes, okay, well, maybe he can. So um, he hangs up, and you can see the serious look that Saitama has. I really love this. It's a double page. Um, very cool. So... Meanwhile, the Deep Sea King is beating up on these heroes. And so... He sends everybody... Um, on three, everybody goes. And kind of he kind of stays. I don't think it was on... Um, purpose. Or maybe he did go. But from there, he looks like he's standing still. So... And uh, he's no match either. So... Here's Genos. So later on, or earlier on, I was a little confused. I thought Genos had arrived to there, but it's after. So here comes Genos. Very cool panel here. Um, cool page, cool composition. And uh, Genos is quite strong. So, and you can see he hits him really hard, causing a lot of damage and a lot of destruction. And uh, everybody's so happy. And again, these are thought balloons, but this deep sea king has returned and uh, dispatches Genos. And look at him now, I'm mad. So, and you can see Genos hit him really hard. And so, deep sea king is angry. And so, all the people start running away. And the Deep Sea King is just wailing. Genesis is doing the best he can. Back and forth a little bit. I love the pacing. Just showing you, as they're not just fighting, but you can see the in the that there's still the human element, so... And uh, the little girl here is trying to encourage him, and he's throwing his uh, spit, which is kind of like aliens, where it's like, um, I don't know, acidic, or... And so, it's going to hit that girl, but Genos jumps in front of it. End of the chapter, and remember, because you read this way, it says, continued in the next page this way, but... So... Genos is uh, hurt, and Deep Sea King is just going to try to finish him off. Look at that, just bam, or in that case, wham. So, he, he uh, you know, because Genos tried to save that little girl, so... He's already healed, the, so he's letting him know. And so the um, Moomin rider throws the bike, his bike, at him. He just turns around like, what was that? And so Genos is like, don't do it. But Moomin rider's like, you know, we're going to fight. It doesn't matter. So he goes and grabs him by the hand and just... 
bam, just this panel to me, I cracked up when I first saw it. I was like, oh my God, that is hilarious. So, um, <laughs> and then he hits him again, just wailing him. Um, so he gets rid of him and now he's going to kill Janos. But the Moomin Rider's not done. He's, you know, it's really cool that you see, I wish people realized that it doesn't matter how, you know, you got to try. You just never know. Even in the face of possible doom, man, you, you can't give up. So, and he is trying to get up. Even though he knows he can't win, he was going to fight. And so, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, he rallies everybody. And, bam. He just, <laughs> uh, but, he did not die because Saitama caught him. And Saitama is here. Um, another party crasher. He sees Janos. And he's angry. Great. Look at this. Because you don't... You normally don't see the the black. Um, and here they, they really put that in. Just showing how um, angry he is. And he hits him. And it's like nothing. So, here's chapter 27, and uh, a little bit of talking, you know, introduction, because Saitama hasn't been there. So, yeah, the sea, you know, the Deep Sea King tells him, basically, he stands at the top of the pyramid, um, and Saitama just kind of blows him off, so... Which anchors him. And, uh, boom. And you can see the shockwave just, um, great effect that this they used here. I'm sure they used Photoshop to do this, but very cool. And, uh, fight's over. Um, it's a, so I understand some people may look at that and go, what? You know, that guy was so powerful and it just ends with a punch. And what's the point of this series when a, a dude can beat everybody up with a punch? And that, my friends, is what makes this series so great because it's more than just that. It, it, it's about everything else that happens before the fight, during the fight, um, the reactions after the fight. That's what the series is about. Yes, he beats everyone with a punch. It's He always wins. But that's not the whole point of the series. So, of course, um, everyone's like, wow, wow. And then there's this little guy here who just says, oh, maybe he wasn't that strong. Maybe the other heroes weakened him and yada, yada, yada. Kind of the same old, same old. Nobody gives credit to Saitama. And, uh, um, Saitama's like, um, so what? He's, you know, we beat him. So, he, you know, he's starting to stand up for himself, too. So, and then, um, everybody eventually, after he gives his little rant, just says, um, that the other heroes you know, deserve the credit. So, and so they're like, oh yeah, he, um, so he gives him a little credit, but he's standing up for himself, so. And, uh, Genos knows that this is the path he's choosing, so, um, he's not gonna, you know, but he doesn't want the, you know, Genesis is like, I, you, 
turning the people against him. You know, how can he be a hero? So, and Genos is thinking this. This isn't him talking, so. And Genos, of course, is going to stand by him, so. And let's not forget about Sonic. So, he's back to fight the Seeking, and the Seeking's already been defeated, so he was too late. So, so now we're going uh, to the conclusion of the chapter where um, Shiba, uh, Shiba Waba, I think her name is, Shiba, Shiba Bawa, um, sees a vision and the earth is in danger. And so um, we got chapter 28 here. I really like this panel, the all the white borders with or the white panel with just the airplane and the care package being sent through. So this care package is being sent to where Saitama is supposed to live. And it's got the mail that um the has been sent to the Heroes Association. Um so and these are for uh, Genos and for Saitama. So um, Genos, of course, gets all the nice ones. Because, you know, he's a good looking guy and all the... But, of course, everyone, you know, he just gets the the hate mail. And so, you know, Genos is like, what? And uh, he's all like, eh, whatever. And he gets just a thank you, finally, after all those letters that just, and, you know, uh, and he's generally like an acquaintance. He goes, uh, I don't know, but he's thanking me, so. And then he also gets um, that he's now rank C, or he's still in class C but he's rank 1. So now we go to the hero association. And so you know, it's very funny cuz he's so casual. They're like, "Hey, did you read the manual?" and he's like, oh, "I haven't looked at it. Are you going to chew me out?" Just kind of matter of fact. And so they're telling him that they can move him to class B if he wants. Uh but he's got to pass this interview, but that he would start at the bottom of class um b so and that they're just the um the ones that handle the interview but the review board is uh so class b doesn't have to do um all those heroic deeds and you know he knows that with genos in class s he has to move up so um, he's gonna. They're gonna give him a psychological exam, and of course, there's people here that are just they're watching this, so they don't know. You know, they they know he finished the deep seeking, and again, read this way. So everything is this way. So they don't know whether he cheated on the physical test or not. But they just know that um, if he's if he's real, he can handle it. But if he's a fake, he'll regret it. So, um, so after all this, I believe that um, he ends up in uh, Class B. So this is Sweet Mask, and you know he's he's been advised whether or not he should move up or not, but. He's like, they don't need him for such trivial tasks as of promoting someone. So, um, <sighs> he only wants to say if people want to move up into, like, class A or higher. Um, but that's it. So, he's, <laughs> that's okay. That's how, that's how people are. That's how celebrities are. So, um... So they're going to go ahead and promote him. So he's rank 101, class B. So. And uh, 
he goes in and orders his his uh, uh, stew or soup and so he's got the uh, Moomin, Moomin Rider here so and he's the one that said thank you he's the one that sent the letter to Saitama so and so now we're gonna go to our bonus manga so we're we're done with the main chapters so Saitama's at the bank and discovers that his bank account only has 20 yen and that's it it's been inactive for some time so love the generic names and he doesn't have too much money for um, even getting a soda so and he's just defeated a monster so he's uh, thirsty <laughs> and uh, Oh, it's just, it's a great, it's a great show. I mean, I just keep saying show. This is such a great read. So, these two um, put the police tape on there. And uh, they think that uh, they're the ones that beat that monster. And here's their name, D-Pad and Funeral Suspenders. I just, I uh, love the names. So, um, they purchased the drink, the Saitama wanted and so he shoots or he drinks it and shoots the can while Saitama thinks they miss but they keep going then Saitama picks it up and puts it in the garbage like the hero that he is so he's uh, there um, and telling them that they're 10 yen short but there's gonna be a robbery and so the villains are also ranked like the heroes so um class A you know etc cetera, etc cetera. so and then class S so and uh here come those other two heroes <laughs> and um they go for a beef brief fight Such a fun story. So, he lets him know that after all that, you know, a class C hero is no match for a class A. So, they're leaving. So, they got a hostage here. And so, they'll dump him um, at another, but once they get away. And they realize that the car um, isn't, uh, they have no control over it. And there's Saitama underneath, underneath the car running. And so he drops it. They all get out. And uh, time to fight. And then Saitama's like, my money was in that bank. I can't let you have it. And he beats them. And uh, sees all that money, but that's not what he wants. And here's the kid, and the kid gives him the spare change. <laughs> uh, Saitama uh, gratefully accepts, and he gets his little drink. So, so now he's telling um, Genos the tale. Janice gets him um, the drink that he was obsessed with and um, he got him a whole box and Janice tastes or uh, Saitama tasted and uh, he's like oh my god it tastes disgusting and uh, they're like well you have two years to drink it because that's when it expires so and so we get um a little page here and some pinups and the end so thanks for listening thanks I hope you're enjoying uh, this 
uh, because it's such a it's such a great book. So like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.